guys what's going on and welcome back sounds like every stinking youtuber in the entire universe <laughs> what up everybody what's going on welcome back it's your boy worst having gamer uh it's been a minute since we've talked last time guys and i've got a pretty good reason about that because i've been having a lot of technical difficulties with my uh setup here uh, my capture card wasn't working for the longest time i'm not sure what's going on with it what happened but i ordered a new capture card and guess what that wasn't working either <laughs> So then I went to the next part, I reordered that part. There's just, I got like five wires connected to each other to get into my computer. Anyways, I finally got into it. As you can see, we're into the game now. Took me a while, but I think I should be able to get back to regular streaming. I should get back to my spotlights and we should get back to Soul Hunters. So today we have uh, the spotlight on the brand new hero. Let's take a look really quickly. Fuzzy Wuzzy, I love this guy. Uh, first impression, if you can already tell, I've maxed them out as much as possible. You can't go any higher than this. So let me know if you have a better overall rating than me. 19k? It's possible. Let me see. What can you possibly do better? Nothing! There's nothing you can do. Alright, let's break it down. No! Hello darkness, my old friend. All right, so let's break this guy down. If you don't already have him, let's take a look at what he's all about. We're going to go into his abilities really quickly, and I'm going to show you his abilities. And I'm going to show you his abilities in action a little bit later on. But really quickly here, guys, let's just take a look at Fury Slashes. A uh, very basic ability. This guy will just go into a rage, and then he just starts slashing everything in front of him. Uh, dealing multiple strikes of uh, physical damage to the opponent. They are devastating. 6,400 base damage. Uh, this ability right now, it's unbelievably powerful. It literally will take out Valan and anybody in front of him. So essentially right now, this guy is a tank melter. He will melt your opponent's tanks really, really quickly. So that's one great thing I love about him. Next ability, Earth Shock. Uh, it's... The rest of his abilities are not that great, to be honest, guys. If you take a look at this one, it deals uh, physical damage and it slows the nearby enemies. It's okay. Uh, catharsis. Wild Anger led to a sharp increase in his crit uh, hit chances. So this one is pretty good. Increase physical crit rating. I like that a little bit. And this one is going to increase his physical damage, physical attack by 6,000. That's really good. So, essentially, he's got two stat increases of abilities. This one is a minor ability that does a little bit of damage. And then he's got his ultimate, which does a crazy ton of, of, of damage. So, pre-awakening, I don't really recommend this guy using him a lot. Pre-awakening. Endgame. Now, here's where it gets interesting, guys. When you finally awaken him, he is catastrophic. Each time Fuzzy attacks a target, he inflicts them with a stack of Claude for 7 seconds. Hmm, 7 seconds of stack. Claws. Each time a target with Claude uh, status is hit, they take extra damage for each stack of Claude. And the duration of their Claude status is refreshed, so it keeps getting reset. And that's just insane. This, this attack right here... It's retarded, guys. Literally, it does insane amount of damage. Uh, this guy right now is probably the highest DPS hero in the game, to be honest. It does... Oh, my God. He just does so much work. And we're going to go take him into a battle so I can show you what he does. But really quickly, let's take a look at what ruins I've got on him right now. And I went with a straight up physical ruins. Mm, just so much damage. Crit damage and everything. And then, as a pet, I put on my Peggy. So that's what I got on him right now. Let's go ahead. Let's take him into a battle. All right, guys. Let's take a look at this battle right now. Uh, we got double Valons there. Ooh, that Gorum's getting hit pretty hard. So my opponent also got an Ursula there. So Morphish should be putting in some good work in the back. Doing a ton of damage here. A little splash damage there. Oh, Ursula's in the other side here. We get a nice quick ultimate. Boom. More or It just seems like Morphish is putting in work right now. Now here it goes. There goes Fuzzy with the ultimate, guys, and all of a sudden, everybody's dead. Uh, victory is mine. Let's take a look at the details here. And as you can see, that wasn't even close. 
Holy moly, look at the differential in damage there. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, healing bonus. Boy, he even healed more than everybody else. Damage received. Kills. So he got three and two for Ursula there. So that was actually a really good showing for him there. But let's go into another battle and see how he does in this next one. All right, so this one is a defensive battle here. I also have the same team on defense here. Let's see how they hold up against uh, an opponent fuzzy. Uh oh, oh, Morphier is dead real quick here. He got slowed down by Muriel and then never was able to recover. He's running Wonder Woman and Green Lantern here. So let's see. Milan is almost about to die. My Quake is already dead. At this point, we're kind of looking bad here. A nice ultimate from Ursula was, is actually really good. And there goes Fuzzy with his ultimate there. Juice. Everybody dead. Take a look at the stats. And as you can see, wow. Again, Fuzzy is just killing it on my team. Like I said before, guys, this guy puts in some crazy damage. I've never seen... Well, I, of course, we've seen it. Newer heroes usually tend to put a lot of damage, but not like this. This guy is on another level here with the damage. Wow. So now we're about to do a battle in Hall of Legends, guys. Crusher here. And to be honest, I'm not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure that the team that I'm going to run with here is going to be... This is what everybody else is using. So let's go get my Ling Ling here. All right. So this is the team that you want to run for this guy. Rodin. Rodin. Actually, I just noticed right there that Rodin's got a new look. Oh, I love it. Woo. Looking great, Rodin, here. So let's go ahead into the battle. And let's see how we're going to do. This is just another aspect of the game that you can use your boy Fuzzy in. And I know he's killing it in the Hall of Legends as well, guys. So all around. Oh, my God. This guy is such a beast. He's just useful in every aspect of the game here. And now I got to pay attention here. Oh, my goodness. That was uh, very unfortunate there. Ling Ling died really quickly, which is probably the worst thing that can happen to you. So at this point now, I'm kind of screwed. I'm just going to have to just go crazy with these guys. So we already know we already know Rakash is unbelievably broken right now. He's just a beast in Hall of Legends and in battle. But it turns out that Fuzzy is kind of the same thing, guys. Fuzzy is just such a beast. Uh-oh, he's dead. Now we're almost at we're 60 million here. With just these two guys. Everybody else already died. So that's bad. 92 is not great. But you can just kind of see it already guys. If you time it well. And you get a little bit luckier than I did. You should be killing it on this guy. So another aspect of what he's really really good at. Alright so that's pretty much going to do it for Fuzzy for today guys. Really quickly. That's his original trade here. If you already had him. That's his portrait. Looks good. I love the fact that this guy. A little uh, comic relief there. Is about to drop his panties. And you can see underneath. He's got his thong, his man thong showing. <laughs> Who designed this guy? Anyways, and then you go into his awakened uh, state here. Seems very chill. But you know what they say, don't poke a sleeping bear or else it's going to kill you. And that's what this guy is all about. So that'll about wrap it up for this guy. I will catch you guys on the next video, guys. Hope you have a good day. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.